So you've obviously had a really successful career, many up in Scotland but elsewhere as well. What attracted you to Bristol? It was it was moving to WSL, which was which was really attractive. Uh, you know, I think most people know that I went for the job 18 months ago and was unsuccessful. But you know, I always sort of kept in touch with Bristol and just the infrastructure of the club was really important to me in terms of they had a, a really good philosophy in terms of. Uh, developing their own players and everything was on the one site. You know, you can see yourself. The facilities are fantastic here, so just it, it just felt felt like the right club. Bristol Academy, bottom of the table at the moment. What are your plans for the club, short term but also long term? Short term is second bottom, <laughs> which would obviously guarantee us to be in, in the league next year, which is is huge for for myself, for the players, and. and ultimately for the club. Medium to long term is, is to try and develop our own players and develop a playing style and an infrastructure that, that gives us longer term success. The girls have been fantastic. I mean, the, the first week and a half was really hectic with, with the with the back-to-back games, Birmingham and Arsenal, but we got through that with two points, which was really positive and they were almost a little bit disappointed that the mid-season break had come at that point because they wanted to go and kick on. Looking ahead to Sunday, mm. Huge game, Chelsea top of the table. What's the atmosphere like in camp this week? I think the girls, the girls are really buzzing. The, the girls can't wait for Sunday. A bit like myself, I feel feel a bit like a kid at Christmas just now. Uh, you know, everybody's dying t- t- to get along and and get to the game. Internally, we'll we'll put pressure on ourselves and and have our own expectations. You know, we we believe that we can go and pick up points in the first two games. You know, we're hoping there's there's maybe as many as fifteen hundred, two thousand at the game, and and they will not be coming to watch Bristol. But hopefully, by the time they leave, they'll be talking about Bristol. Recent World Cup that must have a huge impact on women's football. Are you hoping that that's going to then filter through to sort of Bristol support? You would hope so. It's a f- what an opportunity uh, the World Cup's given us to really kick on now in terms of numbers coming through the gates, which obviously brings its own financial benefits. But I think we just need to get an audience and and try and sustain that 